Hey guys, welcome to Raw Customs. I'm your host, Patrick Polo, and on this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to scale templates. Now, I know in the past, I did another one using Adobe Elements. Uh, I got a lot of feedback from you guys. A lot of you don't use that kind of software, and actually, it costs money to get it. You don't want to pay for it just to be able to scale a template up. So, I've got another one for you. It's called Inkscape, and it is free. I said, yes, yes, it is free. So... All you gotta do is go over to the internet, your browser, type in Inkscape, it'll pop up with a free download. Download it, install it, and you'll be ready to scale in no time. Now for this uh, one, I'm gonna be showing you how to scale the Spider-Man web shooters, which uh, should have a video coming out, hopefully on the same day for these. Now the way you're gonna scale this particular one uh, will be the same methods to scale anything else that I put out. So if you go download one of my templates, you'll be able to use the same methods. As far as scaling, all you'll need is the measurement points. As far as the uh, the web shooters here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and measure around your wrist. And then on the main body of it is where you'll be scaling from this low point here to this top point up here. You'll get that scale. So once you've measured your wrist, what you're going to want to do is add an inch to that so it'll be a little bit larger. If you're planning on wearing a costume uh, or any type of fabric or glove underneath it, you're going to want to put that on first so that you'll have the, that extra distance and it'll still fit over your clothes. Well, all right, guys. Let's see how to do it and get to it. To start, go to your browser, type in Inkscape, and then just hit your search bar. Click on the free download link and then just download and install your software. Once you've opened up Inkscape, go ahead and click on File. Go ahead and slide on down and hit Document Properties. In the Properties window, go ahead and click on the top arrow. And when it drops down, go ahead and click the inches. This will change the rulers on the top and side to inches. Then slide down to the center and pick your page size. I'm picking eight and a half by eleven. That's pretty much standard for most printers and what you guys are using. You can zoom in on the page by using the magnifying glass tool, or use your shortboard uh, keyboard shortcuts. Will do the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. Next, go back up to file and drop the window and if you only have a single file you can just hit open if you have multiple files I prefer to import so in this case I have two files so I'm gonna select import select my first file and then hit open and once I have my page open I will go back into import and select my second file and bring that into the same page once your files are imported, go ahead and go up to your arrow button and click on it. This will allow you to move the objects around as well as rescale and rotate them. At the top of the page, you'll notice a lock icon. You'll want to uh, click that and make sure it's in the lock position. If it's unlocked, when you go to move and rescale your pieces, they will deform on you. If this happens, just hit Control Z. That'll back up. Uh, your last move. Okay, for scaling the uh, Spider-Man web shooter, we're going to want to, first of all, rotate the main body area. So if you'll rotate that around until the bottom piece is actually flat on the box. And then we'll want to move it up to where we can see uh, the outside edge lined up at zero at the top uh, ruler. And move that on over. And then at the top point here is where we'll want to scale the length for the other edge. So once you get that lined up where you want it, you'll slide the whole body back down where it pretty much sits on top of the other uh, objects that you imported. And 
And once you have your pieces, you'll want to box all that together so that it'll be grouped and it'll all scale as one object. At this point, you can grab your lower arrow and push it up or down to rescale it to the size that's going to fit your wrist. Once you've scaled the two pieces, you can click outside the bounding box. This will separate the pieces and allow you to move them separately. You can reposition them on the page. If uh, the scale is small enough, you might be able to get both pieces to print out on one page. This will be more of a kid's size. The whole process can quickly be repeated. For say an adult size where you'll need to scale it up once you have your size you'll want to separate the two pieces and then move them around and refit them to fit the page in this case you'll need to print out two pages so go up to file, go down and hit print and send it to your printer and print your first file out. And then just come back in, move your first set of objects out of the way and move the second piece into place, locate it on the page. Go back up to file and then print that one out. Well, Alright guys, there you go, uh, how to scale templates. Now, I actually prefer using the Inkscape uh, versus using the Elements. I think it actually works a lot better for uh, actually what we're doing here as far as scaling. Uh, now, when I first got started, I was actually uh, putting my template links onto Facebook, which a lot of them are disappeared or they're acting weird and they're hard to find. So what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, reworking those, converting them over to a PDF form, putting them on my Google Drive, and of course making those available to you guys. So if there's one that you're trying to work on and you can't, it's not working right for you, let me know, and I'll try to get to that reworked uh, as soon as possible for you and let you know that it's ready to go. Uh, now, if you guys would like to support my channel and give me a little help here, I'd really appreciate it. I've recently started a TAD account, so. There's actually a link in the description below that says support me at TAD. All you have to do is click on that. It'll take you to it. It works on Apple, Android. And all you have to do is watch a few videos and then type in Raw Customs and hit fund. And you've supported my channel. Now, if enough of y'all do this, this is going to lead to, you know, me doing, being able to do, produce more videos for you guys. Hopefully buying a few things to up my production and as well as doing giveaways, which I've been wanting to do for quite a while. So uh, that's something I'm looking forward to doing for you guys and then getting some uh, feedback. So if you'd like to support me, like I said, uh, it'd really help out. Hit me up at Tad. Uh, that's it for this video. God bless and I'll see you on the next one.